guys, welcome to Monday's strength workout. Today we're going to be highlighting isometrics in our workout today. You're going to need three pieces of equipment. You're going to need two dumbbells or something of weight, equal weight in each hand. You're going to need a yoga block. You're more than welcome to use a pillow from a couch or a bed anywhere around the house. You're just going to need something that's resembling a yoga block and you're going to need a towel. That's all the equipment we're going to need today. We're going to start you out with our ring of fire. And that's gonna start with an its lateral dying bug. So you're gonna take your pillow or your block. We're gonna be laying on our back here. Upper at brace, knees are gonna tuck in. You're gonna take your elbow and you're gonna pin in that block with the knee. Then we're gonna straighten out the other side, reach back and come in, tap the leg. Reach it back, come in, tap the leg. Once we get all the reps on one side, right, we switch to that other side, taps in, reaches, taps in, and reach. That's going to be our first core exercise. Our second core exercise is going to be a push-up hold. So it's going to be like a plank, but we're going to be halfway in a push-up position. This is going to be 30 to 45 seconds. Lowering down halfway, tuck the elbows into the sides, and we're going to hold. Make sure the tailbone stays tucked under and that core stays tight. Once we get through all the reps there, we're going to flip ourselves back around. And we're going to make that tabletop position again with the shins. This time, we're going to be crunching up with the abdominals rather than the obliques. We're going to crunch up that block where the pillow is going to go to the shins, reach down, crunch up, take it off, tap the floor, and down, up, and down. Every time the block is on the shins, that's going to be one rep for you. Then moving into our next two exercises, we're going to be doing an isometric bicep curl hold and then right into some reps. So. You're gonna hold your dumbbells 90 degrees. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. After that 30 second hold, you're gonna move right into a nice open palm bicep curl. We're gonna be supersetting that exercise with a towel isometric and then some squats with our dumbbells. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your towel down on the floor. You're gonna hold on to each end, right? You can use a bigger towel here if you need that extra range. You're gonna drive through your heels, get your hips down, push through your feet, push through the legs, and try to stand up. I'm trying to stand up as hard as I can right now. We're building lots of good tension on those quads, on those glutes. Once our 30 seconds pass, we're dropping the towel immediately, going right to our weights, and we're squatting. Down and up. Building that extra fire in the quads. We're gonna run through those two exercises three times, and then you're gonna move on to your next two exercises. Up. All right, so we're going to be on the floor for our next two. You're going to need your towel and you're going to need your dumbbells. So we're going to start out with an isometric chest fly. We're going to come down, feet are planted, low back presses into the floor. My palms are facing each other here and my shoulders are dropped down away from my ears. So our normal fly, right, reaches out and then you exhale and squeeze in. Our isometric fly, we're going to come out. You're gonna brace through the chest. You're gonna squeeze in on one side, reach back out, squeeze in on the other side, reach back out. The goal here is to really brace the core and keep the elbows just a hair off of the ground so that you're not resting there and you build that tension on the chest. We're gonna be supersetting that exercise with a towel Superman. So we're laying on our stomach here. We did these last week. You're gonna pull your towel apart. Make sure that it never slacks, right? This is our isometric. It's this opening up of the shoulders. You're gonna lay prone on your stomach. Chest is down. Lift the chest, lift the wrists. Come back, press up, and then come back down. Lift up, come back, up, and down, right? You're never losing tension on that towel. At any point, trying to get that towel as close to the shoulder blades as possible, not just right to the top or the back of the neck. Once we run through those three rounds on those two exercises, our last two exercises here are gonna be a single leg RDL, which you're gonna need your block and you're gonna need one of your dumbbells for. We're gonna make this supported because I want you to really focus on the leg rather than being unstable by any chance. Take your block or your pillow, squeeze it behind the leg that's gonna be floating. Right, then we're hinging, we're reaching down to our dumbbell and coming up. We're hinging and back up. Right, this squeeze here with the block is going to build up tension on our hamstrings 
so that it's nice and fatigued. When we move over to our other side, we pinch that block behind the other leg, holding onto the wall, hinging down, and back up. Right? You're going to build up that nice fatigue there. And then we're going to move you on to our last exercise, which is going to be a lateral raise hold. Make sure you have lighter weights with you. Um, the 15s I have might be a little bit heavy. The nature of the exercise is we're going to hold out to the side, right and straight, lower on one side and lift, lower on that other side and lift, right? Once I do one side, that was one rep, this was also one rep. So you want to get to that rep range on each side. After we get through three rounds of that, you guys are done. Hope you enjoy it.